Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we're looking at uh, part two of the photoelectric effect where we'll be looking at some of the calculations involved. Just to recap quickly, we talked about the threshold frequency is the minimum frequency that's uh, required to eject an electron and the work function is the minimum energy that is necessary to eject an electron. Now, taking this a little further, we've mentioned that the equations that we need are usually those and this one here. E is equals to HF or E is equals to HC over lambda and HF is equals to W0 plus half mv squared. <clears throat> now in the last lesson we've mentioned that the red light doesn't have uh, enough energy to eject an electron. So we say that the frequency of the red light is below the threshold frequency. Now we will test that out with calculation today. So to do it, we look at our equation E is equals to HF. Or in this case, because we are not given the frequency, we are given the nanometers, we can say that's your lambda E is equals to H C over lambda. And if you work this out, we will see that from our data sheet, we are given certain things. We are given Planck's constant. 6,63 times 10 to the minus 34 and we will later on work over the mass of an electron 9,11 times 10 to the minus 31. So let's just work with Planck's constant for now. <coughs> so we got 6,63 times 10 to the minus 34 and C is the speed of light which is also given in this uh, data sheet 3 times 10 to the power 8 speed of light in the vacuum so we'll multiply that 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second and the lambda will be 700 nanometers that's given here and if we do that we'll say 700 and nano means times 10 to the power minus 9 minus 9 uh, minus 9 let's just put it 700 times 10 to the power minus 9 and if we do the calculation I'll just do it now for you the answer we get is um, 2,84 times 10 to the power minus 19 joules now if you look at this answer this is the amount of energy that's supplied to the sodium metal but we see that the work function of the sodium metal is 3,6 times 10 to the minus 19 so therefore we can say that the energy supplied by the red light is lower than the energy required to eject an electron therefore no electron will be ejected from the sodium uh, metal when red light shines on it and this is the proof using calculation now if you do the same thing for the green light we'll say again E is equals to hc over lambda and if you say h is 6,63 times 10 to the minus times 10 to the minus 34 and then we multiply it by c which is the speed of light 3 times 10 to the 8 and we divide it by the lambda in this case is 553 times 10 to the minus 9 then if you work this out using a calculator, we see that we get 3,6 times 10 to the power minus 19 joules. So in this case here, if we compare the energy supplied by the green light and we compare it to the work function of the metal, we see that it is the same. So we can say that the green light has sufficient energy to eject an electron, as is seen in this. Uh, example here. All right, taking a little further, if we have a case like this where we have violet light and we want to work out the energy of the of violet light, we'll say the energy of the violet light is equal to E is equal to HC over lambda and we do the same thing. We say 6,63 Planck's constant times 10 to the minus 34 times the speed of light which is 3 times 10 to the 8 and the wavelength is given which is 400 times 10 to the power minus 
9 nanometers and we see that the energy supplied by the purple light will be much higher and let me just double check the amount that I have we see that the answer that we get in this case is 4,97 times 10 to the power minus 19 and we see that 4,9 is greater than 3,6 so we see that violet light has sufficient energy to eject an electron and the 3,6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules is used to eject an electron and the rest of the energy is used to grant the electron kinetic energy so let's just take this further and see how much kinetic energy is given to this electron now going back to our previous slide our earlier slide we see that this is the equation that we will use hf is equal to w0 plus half mv squared and we can work out the half mv squared which is your kinetic energy so let's go back we say we take the equation as is hf is equals to w0 plus a half mv squared and we worked out this uh, hf here is hc over lambda so in this case we can see that the energy supplied is 4,97 times 10 to the minus 19 that's the amount of energy supplied by the violet light and our w0 is our work function which is <clears throat> 3,6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules so that's the energy that's used to eject the electron and the rest of the energy is converted to kinetic energy so if we write EK here we can work out the energy that's applied but let's take this question a little further we want to work out what is the speed what is the velocity of this electron that is ejected so we'll say a half is half and the mass of an electron that's ejected again we take that from the data sheet and we see that it's 3 3 comma 1 1 times 10 to the minus 31 and we write it down 3 comma 1 1 times 10 to the minus <coughs> 31 and then we have v squared here and then if we take do our mathematics we will see that we can get the answer so I will just uh, work out uh, what is the velocity that we have and we'll see what answer that we get. So if we take the work function on the other side, 4,97 times 10 to the minus 19 minus 3,6 times 10 to the minus 19, we see that we get an amount of 1, comma <coughs> we get an amount of uh, 1, 1, 3 times 10 to the minus 19 and then if we take that further 1,37 times 10 to the minus 19 is equals to a half 3,11 times 10 to the minus 31 v squared and if we take that further if we now multiply take the two half on other side we multiply by 2 divided by 3,11 times 10 to the minus 31 we see we get v squared is equal to 3 comma 0 times 10 to the 11 and if you find the square root on both sides we'll find the v to be 5 comma 48 times 10 to the power 5 meters per second so that is the velocity of the electron that's ejected so this is a, an excellent sum to show you that when violet light shines onto sodium metal we see that part of that energy is used to eject the electron and the rest of the energy we see the 4,97 is greater than 3,6 times 10 to the minus 19 the rest of the energy is used to be converted to kinetic energy and here we see that the velocity of the electron that is ejected is 5,48 times 10 to the power 5 meters per second. So this is a, a simple uh, calculation and an understanding of the calculations involved in working out the photoelectric effect. And I thank you for listening and I hope that you've understood the basics related to the section on photoelectric effect. Thank you very much.